brothers and sisters some time back one family came they were sharing their problems and worries and tensions and sicknesses and crises that they were going through they were crying in front of me and i felt so sad i don't know i didn't know how to help them because their situations are beyond human help only god can do something and i felt so bad and i asked god god why you are not doing anything for them why don't you help them and these parents these pe- pe- people they said father it looks like god has abandoned us it looks like god has left us it looks like god has no mercy for us it looks like god is not interested in us i said no don't think like that it is not true it is the devil who wants to tell you these lies don't believe these lies that is not the real fact but at the same time i was wondering why god is not blessing them why god is not helping them and then when i was reading bible later this word of god touched my heart and that's word of god is this sirach chapter 16 verse 14 and 15 sirach chapter 16 was 14 and 15 we read like this he makes room for every act of mercy 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 that means he is waiting to show his mercy he is waiting for a chance to show his mercy it's not that god is withholding his mercy upon from us but he is waiting for a chance to show his mercy upon us everyone receives in accordance with his or her deeds everyone receives, everyone receives in, accordance in accordance with his, his or, or her deeds everyone receives in accordance with his or her deeds everyone, everyone receives in accordance with his or her deeds see we if we are prepared if we are holy if we have done our confession if we keep the promises which god has with with god we made if we are holy in this everyone will receive this mercy of god in accordance with his or her deeds he makes room for every act of mercy he is waiting for a chance to show mercy then i understood if god is if they, if they are not experiencing that mercy there is something that is blocking it is not god who is blocking it is they themselves are blocking something is blocking them maybe their relationships unforgiveness hatred anger not ready to uh, repent not ready to be humble and not ready to go for confession not ready to be united to christ there may be something that is stopping them because if there is any chance for mercy god would have already showered his mercy he makes room for every act of mercy praise the lord praise the verse lord verse 15 we read like this verse 15 do not say do not, do not say, say i am hidden from the lord i am, I am hidden, hidden from, from the lord and who from on high has me in mind and, and who, who from, from on high, high has, has me, me in, in mind among so many people among, among so, many so many people i am unknown i am unknown for what am i in a boundless creation for, for what, what am i in a boundless creation, creation? so i told these people don't ever think god has forgotten you don't ever think god has abandoned you god ever god don't ever think that god has no plan for you no interest in you god has left you that is not true do not say it is not from god these kinds of thoughts are coming from the evil one therefore do not say i am hidden from the lord and who from on high has me in my mind in my mind among so many people i am unknown for what am i in a boundless creation so many creations out of these creations i don't think god will remember me out of 7 8 mil- billion people i don't think god will remember me and know me these are all devil's thoughts evil thoughts don't ever say this he is waiting for a chance to show mercy upon you if there is little chance to show mercy he will show the mercy praise the lord praise the lord and this is a great consolation for you and for me for all of us is a great consolation because god is waiting for a chance to show mercy praise the lord